Join me for what is going to be a ton of fun, all standing cardio workout. Now listen, we'll also get a little abdominal training due to the moves that we'll be doing. Now optional, grab one moderate dumbbell, but that's completely optional. And if you're on a hard service, maybe you want a mat, but otherwise that's all you need. All right, let's go get started. Hey there, welcome. My name is PJ Wren, and if you're new to me, I've been a certified personal trainer for almost three decades, focusing on the over 40 body. I got two communities that I want to give a big shout out to before I get going. The first is my over 50 fitness crew who gets all these workouts ads free. And the second is my Patreon community, who it is solely due to them that we can even have a YouTube channel. So mwah, to both of groups. All right, shall we get started? Yeah, let's get started. I'll talk about the warm up as we get going, all right? Bring the arms up, slide the shoulder blades into the back pocket, feet apart, toes slightly turned out, and let's squat. So we have five different moves that we'll perform for three rounds with no rest in between, but um, I'll coach you through it, don't worry, and you can take a break anytime, right? But essentially what we wanna do is have the heart rate up for all those three rounds when marching on the spot, grab a water break, and then do another series of moves. As mentioned in the intro, it's all standing cardio base. There's a couple of higher impact exercises at which I will show lower impact in the corner here. And you are going to get some abdominal um, recruitment due to the moves that I've chosen. Last two, one more. Beautiful, hands light behind the ears. Let's bring those feet in a bit now, about hip width. Soften the knees, push the hips back for a good morning, warming up into the hamstrings. So hip hinge here. Now if work time, we have 30 seconds each move. It's gonna be fun. I love doing these type of no transition workouts. It always sounds a little scary at the beginning, but it's not. It does make the time go by really fast and before you know it, you'll be done your workout. Last two, and one, excellent. Here we go, stand at the top of your mat, step back, drop that knee as low as it feels comfortable for you, extend, reach the arms up and come back. So maybe it's a slight knee bend. All right, more advanced people, we wanna to aim to try to get the knee all the way down, leading with the thumbs going to the room be back of the room behind you there. Four more. Last one. Come on up. Arm extends, swing the leg up, get into the hamstring, tap it back, get into the front of the hip. Other leg is soft. Last three and two and one. Let's do the other side. Here we go. Up. Two more. Good job. Come to the end of the mat. Sink down. Give me two side steps. Maybe pick the tempo up a little bit. Trying to get the heart rates up here as we near the end of our warm up while we also get into the lateral hip. Now you want your toes and knees and hips, shoulders to me, especially those knees. Don't let them go in. One more time, back to our start. And center the mat, feet wide, inhale the arms up, come grab the toes, drop the hips all the way down. We want the heels to stay on the ground, marinate down here for a couple of reps. Woo, work those hips, arms up, drive up. Good, one more time. Come down, grab onto the toes, bend the knees, heels on the ground, chest is lifted. Maybe shuffle side to side and drive up, awesome. All right, we're starting with a lunge and a twist. Those of you with osteoporosis, osteopenia, you'll do no twist. We start with the hands light behind the ears. We lunge it back, we twist that front leg, and we stay with that same leg for our 30 seconds, and then we'll do the other leg. I'm gonna grab a quick sip. We will get busy in about 15 seconds. Remember with your lunge pattern, Go down as deep as it feels good for you and your knees. Deal? All right, let's get that left leg. Here we go. Ready? Nice and tall. Step back left. Twist to right. Same leg. Now we want to keep that body upright. 
If you're not doing the twist, you'll still have your hands up here. Tapping that toe in between each rep just to rebalance. Ten more seconds, we'll just flow into the other leg, stepping behind. So adding that little bit of a twist gets some of our obliques fired up. Other side. Remembering though, any of our big lifts and movement patterns like lunge, squat, deadlift, you'll always recruit those abdominals. As you go, if you can drop that knee down, go for it. And again, we're always doing that twist. If you're joining me in the twist to that front leg, keeping those elbows pulled back. One more. Good. Keep the hands here. Yes, mirror me. Side crunch, tap. Side crunch, tap. Good. Now pick it up a little bit, but we do want to put emphasis into rib to hip here. Before we do the other side, we're going to do one more move. Whew. Feeling our hips, and as mentioned, getting obliques here. Now with the side crunch. All right, now feet together, gate swing. Now you can do the step out gate swing. You'll see that there in the corner if you don't like the impact. We want on both though, bending the knees to get the hand down there, or maybe the hand comes down halfway, right? You find what's gonna challenge you where you're at right now. 10 more seconds and then it's the other side crunch. One more. Hands behind the ears, externally rotate and crunch. So this is the last move of the series. We go back to lunge and twist, okay? One more. Feet hip width apart, left leg steps back, lunge, twist the front leg. Now that left leg goes back again. Can you get that left knee all the way to the ground? Give it a try. Twisting to that front leg through the torso, not the shoulders, or just holding it center if you're not to twist. 10 more seconds, we flow right into the other side. And yes, we keep those arms up. <laughs> this is part of the intensity. Here we go, other side. <laughs> I've explained in other workouts, when we add arms, it increases our intensity. So in this particular series, we're keeping the arms up, which is making it really tough, but we got this. One more, here we go, mirror me, standing side crunch. So I want you to externally rotate the hip first, good. Now rib to hip, good, bring the knee up, bring the elbow down, moving through this area of the body. We get to give those arms a break in about 15 seconds with gait swings. Pull those elbows back though, don't get lazy with that upper body, come on. One more, gate swings, high or low impact, making sure that you're getting the hand down there by bending your knees, not rounding your back. Head up, good. Feels really nice to drop those arms as well. <laughs> 10 more seconds, standing side crunch, other side. One more, Whew. externally rotate, here we go. Now, I don't know about you, but I kind of thought, oh, standing side crunch, this will be a bit of recovery for us. It's not. <laughs> This is tough, <laughs> so maybe you're with me on that. Last one, all right, feet hip width, left leg steps back, lunge, twist to front leg. 
Good. Again, you drop down as low as it feels comfortable for you and your knees. Twist is optional. Last round. One more. Standing side crunch, externally rotate, keep those arms up, uh-huh. Oh no, we got the other leg lunge inside to us, sorry. Other leg, whew. It's getting ahead of myself. Other leg, right leg steps back, twist to that front leg. Time, all right. Whew. Externally rotate that, mirroring me. So you're right, Whew. feel those arms. Whew. Tell them, it's okay. In less than 20 seconds, we can drop them for gate swings. Softness in that stabilizing leg. Whew. Come on, last few reps, let's go. One more. Feet together, arms down, hallelujah, and gate swing. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. One more. Standing side crunch, externally rotate, other side. We grab a quick water after this, moving on to our final circuit in 20 seconds. Two more, one more. Time, woo, march it out. All right, you grab a quick sip. I'm gonna as well. As mentioned, we're moving into five new moves. Same idea, 30 seconds on, three rounds, and then we're done. We start with a lunge, pulse, and drive, and it just goes from there. So, let me just readjust our clock here. Are you still moving your feet? Yeah, okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, we're going in 30 seconds. Okay, we step back with that left leg. Again, we give a pulse, one, two, and then we drive the knee up and try to drive it up while we push down with the hands. That's really, really gonna contract our abs. And then we do it again. Okay, so one, two, one, two. All right, 10 seconds. So let's start with stepping back with the left leg. And again, you go as deep as it feels good for you. Feet hip width, go. Pulse it, drive into the hands and push down with the hands. So you're resisting the knee coming up and the knee is resisting the hands pushing it down. At least this round, we can keep those arms down. <laughs> Adding that pulse has a little bit more a burn into the legs. One more. Other side. Double pulse. Push. Double pulse. Push. Good. Now, in 20 seconds, I'm going to grab my dumbbell, but if you don't have one, I'll show you a work around. You'll just simply interlace your hands. All right. One more, time, feet apart, mirror me, interlace your hands or grab your dumbbell and throw it over and twist on that outside leg. Throw it over, right shoulder, twist. It's called a wood chop, good. Now, if you have osteoporosis, osteopenia, you will not use a weight on this, okay? Good job. 
So you want a little harder, you sink a bit into a bit of a squat, and then you lift up out, out of the squat. Last one, time. Now before we do the other side, feet together, give me a jumping jack, and then a jab. One, good. Now the low impact is above, kind of the same, we're just not having that impact in the jab. Whoop. <laughs> All right, let's do the other side wood chop. So interlace the hands or grab the dumbbell. Start with the knee soft, throw it over the other shoulder now. Whoops, sorry, other side. Now you can add a bit more. You squat, you lift out, you try to throw it over your left shoulder. So this is our fifth move. In 10 seconds, we go back to lunge, pulse, and drive. I believe my arm keeps hitting the mic. Sorry about that time all right feet hip width step back with the left two pulses drive it up resist it so it's just for a split second we resist really challenging our balance and as mentioned firing up those ab muscles 10 seconds other side Time. Here we go. Other leg. Keep the feet hip width. And when you step back to lunge, make sure they're still hip width. Uh, it's going to give you that stability you need. If you find you're really wobbly with a lunge, most likely you're stepping so that the feet are directly behind each other, not giving you that support that you need. So pretend that you're lunging on railroad tracks and you want to keep your feet wide. Okay. We have a wood chop. One more lunge. All right, interlace your hands or grab your dumbbell. Okay, and you're gonna throw it over. So just showing you the options with or without dumbbell. We add that squat, we pivot. Really firing up that core. Keeping those legs engaged, the heart rate stays up. 10 more seconds. Jack and jab coming up. My new favorite exercise name. Time. Here you go. Jumping jack. One jab. Great job. Other side wood chop coming up. One more. Here we go. Ready? Zet. We go down, over. So again, I'm showing this without the dumbbell. If you've got one handy, please grab it. I wanted to make sure there was an exercise though in which you could definitely do the exercise without a dumbbell in case you don't have access to one. Maybe you're doing this workout on your lunch break. The all standing appeal to you. So one more. All right, left leg, lunge and pulse. Ready? One, two, drive the knee up. This is our last set. Woo, baby. Front leg is on fire. Last knee drive, release. Other leg, here you go. Double pulse. Drive it up. Last couple of reps, wood chop, with or without your dumbbell, coming up. Time, woo baby. All right, you ready? Here we go. Breathe out. Squat if you want to add a bit more.
One more. Jack and jab. Here we go. Feet together. Jack it. Jab it. Last two moves. Time, with or without a dumbbell. Woo. Here we go, ready, set, and up. Whoops, other side. Oh my goodness. Make sure you're doing the other side. <laughs> or maybe you just did what I did. <laughs> Squat, lift up that back heel. Throwing that dumbbell over that shoulder. Arms are gonna bend slightly. One more. Time, whoo, all right, nicely done you. Grab a sip, keep moving the feet. Listen, if you gotta take off because you did this workout because you only had 20 minutes, please just push pause here, revisit this cool down and stretch when you're ready, when you have time. Otherwise, stick around, we're just gonna bring the heart rates down, stretch out the legs a little bit, stretch out the core, the abs, and then you can continue on with your day or maybe you've got another workout lined up after this. All right. Hmm. Let's get some deep belly breaths. We've been doing this for a while now. Let's place the hands on the belly. Keep moving those feet. Now, into the nose, I want you to feel your belly expand, okay? So let's give it a try. Good, now out through your mouth. Good, do it again. Release the hands, go back to a normal breathing pattern for you. Remembering that we're trying to fill up into the belly. Quite often we breathe only into our chest. If you find that you get jaw pain, neck pain, headaches, tightness in your traps, tightness in the scalenes in your neck, that might be you. So if you're having a hard time trying to figure out how to belly breathe, the best way to do it is lying down actually. Knees bent and just placing your hands on your belly and really feeling the air lift your hands up, not just the chest. But this will give you the optimum amount of air. It'll also help us cool down. It's also a great little technique to use if you find your stress levels getting up. A couple of deep belly breaths is sometimes all we need. It's just to calm ourselves down a bit. Or a shot of vodka. Both work. <laughs> All right. I want you to bring the left knee to the ground. We'll get into that hip flexor stretch. You know I love to do it. Lunge into it slightly. Good. And lean back. If you'd like, interlace the hands behind the head. Pull the elbows back. And allow your upper body to extend back slightly. So we'll stretch the front of the body, the chest the hips with this. I seriously do not think I could do a shot of vodka. I couldn't do a shot of anything. <laughs> a shot of white claw, that's what I could do. Actually, no, I don't even like that white claw drink. Gin and tonic. I can do a shot of gin and tonic. All right, now straighten the front leg. Hinge forward. Good. Now, if you've got something to pop the ground up, I'm going to use my water bottle just to show you you can literally use anything. It really does help with this stretch. So it pops my ground up, and now I can really push my hips back and lead with my chest, keeping my spine neutral while I just get that stretch into the hamstring. And let's do the other side. So we start with the hip flexor stretch, knee underneath the hip, lunge forward. Good, let's interlace the hands behind the head once again. Pull the elbows back, let the upper body extend back. Squeeze that back glute. So if you're with me, your right glute. Maybe you're looking up where the ceiling and the wall meet. You're getting a wonderful stretch all through that front of your body.
All right, build your ground up if this works for you and please give it a try. It really does help with this stretch. Push your hips back, hinge forward and say, ah, to your hamstrings. So listen, if you're watching this on YouTube and you'd love to like to keep working with me, I would love that. First off, click that subscribe button. And then second, there's a couple of different ways you can keep working with me down in the description. The first is by supporting the YouTube channel through Patreon. Or the second is going and trying us out on Over 50 Fitness, where all the workouts are ads free. And uh, there's a 14 day um, trial down there in the description. Good, final stretch, let's get into the low back. If you still feel though that your heart rate's going quite heavy, I want you to push pause and walk around because we're gonna be um, dropping the head below the heart. So just let that heart rate come down. Otherwise, join me if it has. Big toes together, knees are open. Hands are mat width apart, so that means wider than shoulders. Drop yourself back, head down and hold. Come on up, Whew. tuck your toes under and just sit back on your heels. Even better if you can, quickly take those shoes off <laughs> and let's stretch the bottoms of your feet. Uh, maybe you're at home and you can do that, please do. You can even push pause, right, and, and, and get the whole stretch. But I do wanna stretch the fascia on the bottom of, of our feet here and it does work better with no shoes. If this feels uncomfortable for your knees, you can place your, some pillows behind your knees or just kind of grin and bear it for a couple of seconds and then just remember next time, okay, I need pillows nearby for this type of stretching. And release. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to read your comments down below. Once again, I really appreciate your support and that you showed up today. So please give yourself a pat on the back. You deserve it. Have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you next workout. Bye.